I'm not overly convinced that this is gonna stay put, but we're gonna give it a bash. So let's go for a drive. I have this song stuck in my head, so I'm gonna play it to get it out of my head. Shades on, slays on. Hey guys, what's up? Um, I hope you can hear me. I have this car tripod has a history of rattling something shocking. So if all you can hear right now is I apologize. It is 20 minutes past three. I'm actually on my afternoon tea break from work and I have a 10 minute break. This is what I'm about to do. It's gonna take longer than 10 minutes and I know that, but I'm running low on options so we've got to make the most of the situation. I'm heading to my PO box currently and I really hope that I have the key in my glove box because otherwise I don't know where it is. Also on the topic of my PO box, you will notice, you probably haven't noticed, I took the PO box address out of my description box because I have actually cancelled temporarily my PO box. Um, since I'm moving back to Auckland at the end of the year, there was no point in renewing my PO box for another 12 months because I'm not even going to be living here. I have to go back and do like another hour and a half of work once I get home. After that, we're going to spend the night together. I just thought it would be cute to hang out. I had no video idea for this week. So, just thought we'd spend some quality time together. Also, unrelated to the vlog, and you're only going to be able to um, relate to this only if you're in Hamilton. <laughs> but... <laughs> so much just happened! Hey guys! Okay, um, no luck. I don't know what the heck is going on, but my my package has been delivered to the wrong P.O. box on the other side of Hamilton, so I will not be collecting that today, which is kind of annoying actually. Um, but my PO, where my P.O. box is is where I used to work, um, and so I went in and had a little chat to my old boss while I was in there, but I need to go home and actually do some work because it is now 20 to 4. Um, it is 4.30 and I have finished work early, which is nice. Um, I'm actually sober driving Danny and her friend into they're gonna just have a drink and then come home. I'm doing that in like 15 minutes, but I'm gonna go to the supermarket while I'm waiting for the, I don't know, how long does it take to a drink? So I don't know how long it takes to have a drink, but anyway, I am just trying to find a recipe. I'm going to make, cause it's Anzac Day on Monday, which is the day you'll be watching this. And so I'm gonna make this caramel like Anzac slice. I made it last year and I made a lot of it and it was just delicious. And the recipe is by just a mum who is a Kiwi mum in Topo, I'm pretty sure. Her recipes are just to die for. Um, Anzac slice with caramel center. Oh, I'm so excited. So I need to write down what I need to get from the supermarket and then I can do that while I'm waiting. Which I will bake tonight because I'm heading to Auckland tomorrow for the long weekend. So I also need to pack a bag and do some other things tonight, which is why we're hanging out. Also, I put on fake nails and I ripped the other ones off. The other ones were just like a nude colour, but then the sparkly ones are like kind of like thicker. And so I'm just leaving them because I feel like they're gonna hurt to take off. So they're just like cheap packet ones from the pharmacy. I hate recipes online. You have to scroll through the person's whole autobiography just to find the recipe. Flour, brown sugar, oats, coconut we have. We need more butter. Got golden syrup. Got water got water. We've definitely got baking soda because I accidentally bought that when I wasn't meant to. Cool. So all I need to get is butter, condensed milk and brown sugar. I'm also going to get some Nutri-Grain. Hey guys, I'm stuck in traffic. It is 13 minutes past five. I had to drop the girls off and I was gonna go to the supermarket and hang around in town and then pick them up and come home but I feel like they're gonna be a while so I'm gonna still go to the supermarket just on the way home and then um, chill at home and then come back and then get them. Hey guys, back home now. Grocery haul. I didn't take you guys into the supermarket because honestly I just wanted to get home so I was in and out of there so fast but got a big mega chunky value pack of Nutri-Grain, some condensed milk, a block of butter and some brown sugar to make the slice. But I am hungry and dinner won't be for at least another hour. And I had leftovers from last night's dinner, so I'm kind of thinking I might eat them. I think that seems like a really good idea actually. Mmm, delicious. Because I'm not one to waste time, I have consumed my first dinner. And I am gonna, I've got my cricket out, which you guys would have seen in my last video. I'm printing out a logo for like a product mock-up for a marketing assignment. So I'm gonna use the cricket for this because why the heck not? If you did not see this in my previous video, you are in for a treat, let me tell you. Watch this and prepare to be amazed. Right, here we have the that bit, and here we have 
kind of the logo. I just need to tidy her up, put on some transfer tape, and then stick it onto our product. Unfortunately, it appears I've made a slight error. I was wetting the O, and it came off and went flying, and I don't know where it went. I guess we're going to have to do that one again. Alrighty, Danny has just texted with the 15 minute warning. Um, so I need to go and pick her and Charlotte up. We have successfully, it's called weeding when you take the excess vinyl off. Um, the logo, also this fingernail is really just the main character. I've cut the transfer tape to size, ready to go. And this is the candle that I am putting it on. This candle is actually from Emma, who is, I don't know if you'll be watching this Emma, but if you are, I'm sorry. but. This candle smells amazing, it's vanilla flavoured, um, but we are repurposing it for the purpose of a assignment at uni. Our, um, I don't want to kind of give away our candle idea because it's low-key like kind of good, low-key tempted to paint on the idea, um, but anyway, it's called Madeline Co, but it's not spelt like the normal Madeline. If you can find the meaning of the name Madeline, you'll figure out what the... Well, you might be able to connect the dots. But anyway, I need to go pick up the gals. It is dinner time. I just picked up the gals. We're having HelloFresh. Surprise, surprise. We've got roasted veggie and pesto pen, penne, pen. I can never figure out how to say that. Penne? Anyway, we're having that for dinner. I'm going to get on to cooking and have my second dinner of the night. Plant-based parmesan. That's not parmesan then. you guys because the gals are watching a movie out in the lounge so I didn't want to you know talk over them but we're back with the candle to do this okay first things first dinner amazing and also a lot of leftovers for tomorrow which is fantastic I currently have the Anzac slice in the oven I will also link that recipe down below because this is coming on Anzac day you need like without a doubt you need to make it it's the best thing that you'll ever taste. Anyway, I need to do my little transfer tape thing. It's actually nine o'clock already, which is kind of ridiculous. I need to call my brother because then we're gonna visit him tomorrow, but like he doesn't know that. Um, it's not like can I come over? It's like I'm um, coming over. Just make sure you're home. Um, I also need to pack a bag to go to Auckland. I'm kind of aiming to hit up early afternoon tomorrow. Owen's got a football game at seven thirty p.m. Which will go till 9.30 p.m. Which is very late. So I probably won't see him beforehand because he'll have to go straight from work to the game. So I'm just going to float around in Auckland, go visit my brother. Go see my nana. Maybe go get myself some McDonald's for dinner. Mind you, but then Owen's going to finish his game and be like, I'm hungry. Oh well, I can just have two dinners again. I am so excited to go home to Auckland. Every time I go home to Auckland, it just like is a taste because I'm moving back to Auckland at the end of the year. Um, it's just a taste of the future, I guess. But I'm trying not to rush the season in Hamilton because, like, I'm probably never going to live here again in my life. So, you know, need to not write it off entirely. There we go. She's on the transfer tape. Now I need to put it on the candle. And then peel off the transfer tape. Oh, I have a story time to tell you guys. So... This morning before I started work, I was like, I'd start work at nine. Um, and I, I had like 15 minutes to spare and I was waiting for my washing to fin like finish so I could hang it out on the line. I was like, oh, I'll vacuum my room. Cause that's normally what I do on the weekend, but since I'm not gonna be here this weekend, I was like, I'll be proactive, I'll do it early. Thought great, cool, I'll vacuum my room. So I got vacuum out, vacuumed my room, I got to the bathroom and I got to like, I had to vacuum like around the toilet and like next to my toilet I had like a bin and like a toilet brush thing. Anyway, I moved them out of the way so I could vacuum like in behind them and I only had moved them. Normally I'd put them up on the toilet seat, vacuum, put them back down. But this time I was like, oh, nah, I'm pushed for time. I'll just pull them back, vacuum, and then put them back. Well, when I pulled them back and then went to go put the vacuum on the ground to vacuum, I clipped the top of the toilet brush and tipped it over. And if you've ever cleaned a bathroom before, you'll know that the toilet brush like container thing needs emptying because when you pull it out of the toilet it's got pooey water on it so consequently the water went on my bathroom floor which was not a rateable experience I would not recommend 
and yeah um so that was my morning also on the topic of getting excited to go home to Auckland I think I'm like like have low-key trauma from not being able to go home for so long with lockdown that just being able to drive on that motorway between here and Auckland is just like like every time I hop in the car and drive onto that expressway and literally like I smile to myself you get the idea that is so so cute also before I forget to tell you guys also you, it, it was hair washing day yesterday I still haven't washed my hair if you follow me on Instagram this will hopefully be old news to you hopefully you would have seen this on my Instagram but the there is new EGS apparel on the way to be specific it is launching so this is coming out on Monday it's launching on Wednesday at 7 p.m. New Zealand standard time and it is the autumn crew neck 2.0 so last year in autumn I bought out five five crew necks of different colors you guys absolutely love them there's actually like three of them left if you're still keen bringing out the yellow which is this is like a completely different design on the front so it's EGS apparel established 2019 um, and yeah, I always say that I have limited stock, obviously because um, it's just me making things, making the ball roll here. But for these, I have like very, like I cannot emphasize this enough, very limited stock. So if you like the look of this, I suggest that you make moves at 7pm on Wednesday night. Oh, my phone's telling me to go to sleep, what's new? My time is about to go off for my slice in the oven as well. Um, but yeah, egsapparel.co.nz, 7pm Wednesday night. Be there, be square, very limited stock. Also, same goes um, as the autumn crew next from last year. Um, I suggest you size up a size from what you would normally buy your clothes in. And if you want it to be oversized ever so slightly, you can go up another size. So I am normally a small and I wear a large um, for the oversized look. There was a fly on my camera, let's go away. Anyway, let's get this slice out of the oven. <laughs> gonna lie I am incredibly disappointed about that slice I'm, I made it before I made it last year like two or three times but I think last year when I did it I noticed it was flopping in the tin when I tried to lift it out and so I put it in the fridge whereas this year I was like ah she'll be right so I yanked it out and it fell apart so I cut some for us to eat we had some for dessert and then I put it back in the tin and it is now in the fridge to actually properly set but it tasted amazing I have, I have not packed a bag to go to Auckland, so I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. I have to check out. I have so many packages coming. It's actually ridiculous. I have two coming from Book Depository, an ASOS order, an Honor Active order, a City Beach order, um, some Olaplex stuff, and a toothbrush. And then also have... Okay, this is exciting. I thought that I... I'm pretty sure I recorded a clip explaining this in my the last vlog or the vlog before that about how I'm getting a new car and for some reason the clip is nowhere to be found nowhere to be seen so I don't know if I just didn't hit record or whether I accidentally deleted it I don't know but I'm getting a new car and I'm so freaking excited about it it's on order at the moment and it's second hand it's not new gosh um, and it's currently on its way here from Japan and it's gonna be here in the next few weeks but oh I just I'm so excited every time I see one like they're, they're quite a common car now so whenever I see them driving around I'm like oh my gosh it's so beautiful I don't want to say what it is just yet but I will show you guys when I do get it which will probably be a vlog on its own to be honest because it's like <sighs> I'll give you guys a hint though if you're up with the times you'll know my parents used to have this exact car um, and my brother also just bought the exact car that I'm buying too so but yeah anyway with this car I need to purchase a specific thing to go with this car so that it can make it work without giving it away um, so I'm waiting for this little thing to arrive which I ordered I uh, actually only ordered it on the weekend so it's coming pretty quickly yeah just waiting for that to arrive because without it I can't actually use the car so if that's a hint I don't know but yeah I, I'm so excited like so excited I'm just gonna have a look at all my shipping numbers to actually see where everything is. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. It's been a good time. I'm gonna head to bed in a second because I've got a big day of driving tomorrow all the way to Auckland. But yeah, nice to just hang out. If you guys have any video ideas, please let me know in the comments. I asked you guys today on my Instagram to give some suggestions. I was just reading through them and some of them are hilarious and and keen to give them a go. So watch this space. But thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile and I'll see you in my next video.
Smells like something died in here. Whoa, she really just. Vroom. I'm gonna eat this and then go over probably with oat cow. Why are they so 